Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll create a Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer and then we'll import that Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. Well, let's open your favorite browser. I have opened Chrome browser over here and just type start.spring.io. This will bring up Spring Initializer website. Well, Spring Initializer is basically a web tool that we can use to quickly create Spring based applications. All right. Now let's go and let's fill up all the project related information. Well, let's keep project as Marvin project here as selected and language Java. So you have a couple of options like Java, Kotlin, Groovy. We are going to use Java. So let's keep Java as selected over here. And here we need to basically choose a Spring Boot version. And by default, 2.6.3 is selected. Okay. So this is basically recommended by Spring Boot team. So let's keep this stable and latest version of Spring Boot as it is. All right. And this may be, you know, different in your case. As of now, it is 2.6.3. But when you create your Spring Boot project, that time this version may different. Now let's go ahead and let's fill up the project metadata over here. Let's give group as something like com dot spring data jpa all right and artifact id let's go and let's give spring data jpa course and the project name is same as artifact and demo let's go and let's give something like spring data jpa with spring boot all right and package name let's keep com dot spring data jpa dot spring boot all right and here packaging let's keep jar as a selected and java version 11 you can choose java 17 or 8 as per the java installation on your machine but as of now i'm going to keep java 11 as a selected as it is now let's go ahead and let's select the dependencies go ahead and click on add dependencies over here and just type spring data jpa well spring data jpa is a starter dependency provided by spring boot team and this spring data jpa starter dependency include all the required libraries to develop the persistence layer or the DAO layer all right and spring data jpa by default uses hibernate as a jpa implementation okay basically we use ping data jpa to reduce a lot of boilerplate code that is required to develop the dao layer all right so go ahead and select spring data jpa dependency we'll explore more about spring data jpa starter dependency in the next lecture now go ahead and select one more dependency that is mysql driver so in this course we are going to use mysql database so let's go and let's use mysql driver java dependency so this dependency we basically use to connect our spring boot application with mysql server well spring data jpa and mysql driver these two dependencies are up as of now and you can explore this Spring boot uh, structure by using explore option over here just go ahead and click on explore and you can see the dependencies in a pom.xml for example click on pom.xml over here and you can see spring boot starter data jpa dependency and mysql connect connector java dependency so these are the two dependencies we have added and by default spring boot starter test dependency is uh, you know added by spring initializer so whenever you create a spring boot application using spring initializer then this spring boot starter test dependency by default included in the pom.xml file all right so go ahead and close it once you are happy with all these details go ahead and click on generate to generate the spring boot application as a zip file so i am going to click on generate over here and this will basically generate a spring boot application as a zip file and it will download in the file system now let's go and let's open this zip file in the file system and as this is the zip file let's go and let's extract it all right now let's open the IntelliJ IDEA and let's import this project. So I'm going to open the IntelliJ IDEA over here and you can see open option. So go ahead and click on open option here and just go to the location where your Spring Boot application is 
download it so in my case i go to downloads folder and then spring data jpa course project i have just selected over here and click on open so this will basically import spring boot application in the IntelliJ idea well basically IntelliJ idea will take couple of seconds to you know import spring boot project successfully because it will it need to download all the dependencies and it need to set up the application properly all right so you can see here resolving dependencies let's wait couple of seconds all right our spring boot application is successfully imported in the IntelliJ idea just you can go ahead and expand this project and you can able to see this is the spring boot main entry point class and you can run your spring boot application using this main entry point class all right and if you can open pom.xml and you can see spring boot starter data jpa dependency well we'll explore more about this dependency in the next lecture and you can go to the external libraries over here you can see all the libraries are added in the class path all right well let me recap what we have done in this lecture we have basically created spring boot application using spring initializer and then we have imported in a IntelliJ idea in next lecture we'll explore more about spring boot starter data jpa dependency all right i will see you in the next lecture